What's up everyone, Cheetah here, and today I'm bringing you a collectible guide for Kill It With Fire. And in this video, I'm going to show you the location to every collectible. So all the batteries, the upgrades, the equipment, and the snacks, getting you four different achievements. And I'm also going to have timestamps to each level if you're just looking for a specific one. And I'd also like to mention that I have a full game achievement walkthrough for this game, walking you through the entire game, getting you all the achievements and whatnot, and showing you the objectives if you want to check that out instead. But this video is going to be strictly for the collectibles and I went ahead and did all of the objectives and killed the spiders to unlock the different doors. So this is basically going to be a straightforward walkthrough showing you the location to the uh, collectibles. So starting off in the little closet here, you can pick up the tracker and then you can turn to your right. And if you've killed enough spiders, you'll be able to unlock this door. So head into the uh, bathroom here and we can turn to the left and on the counter here, there's going to be some hairspray. So go ahead and pick that up. And then if you've completed four of the objectives, you can head out to the uh, living room here and we can go ahead and unlock this uh, drawer here. So you're going to have to complete at least four objectives on your clipboard to unlock this drawer. And if you want to see how to do the objectives, again, you can check out my achievement walkthrough since I show them in that. But like I said, this video is strictly for collectibles. So go ahead and pick up that revolver there and then turn to your right. And on the uh, left side of this little entertainment center right here in this little uh, cupboard, there's going to be an upgrade, so go ahead and open that up and get the uh, upgrade. And that's actually it for this level. Alright, so now we're on the Close Encounters level. And as you can see here, I've gone ahead and killed some spiders and unlocked all of the uh, doors. So starting off, we're going to head into the uh, master bedroom here. And right here on the corner of the bed, there's going to be like a little uh, upgrade you can pick up. So go ahead and pick that up. And then from there, in the uh, little middle drawer right here... There's going to be a uh, battery, so go ahead and get that. And then from there, we can turn around and head into the uh, little bedroom here. And we're going to turn to the right. And right here in this uh, little top right drawer, there's going to be another battery. So pick that up, and then you can pick up the two bags of cheese puffs right here. And then from there, you can turn to your left. And if you've killed at least 12 spiders, you can open up this uh, little nightstand drawer here. So open this up, and there's going to be a key in here. So get this key and then we're going to take this to the master bedroom so head through here and take it to the uh, closet back here and unlock this door here and then from there there's going to be a little shotgun right here that we can pick up so go ahead and get that and then from there we're going to head into the uh, office down the hall so head back out to the uh, hallway and we're going to head into this uh, office here and as soon as you walk into the room you're going to turn to the right and right behind this uh, yellow pillow on this green chair there's going to be a battery here so pick that up and then inside the uh, trash can here there's going to be a battery for me there was also a spider in there so from there on the uh, left side of the desk there's going to be two batteries right here that you can pick up so go ahead and pick those up and then from there we can do a little secret and we're going to pull the uh this little book right here it's like a blue and yellow book interact with that and that's going to open up the uh, secret passage and then in here, you can crouch down and there's going to be a present or an upgrade to pick up and a battery. So go ahead and get those two. And then from there, if you've completed all five of the objectives or however many it needs, you can go ahead and open up this uh, safe right here. And there's going to be some uh, TNT in here. So you can go ahead and uh, open up the safe and then pick up the TNT right here. And then from there, if you also want to get a missable achievement, you can take the money out and uh, burn it with some uh, hairspray and that'll get you an achievement. So that's uh that's it for this level all right so next up we're on the domestic duties level and starting off you can open up this bottom right drawer here and pick up a battery and then from there you can head over to the uh, kitchen table and on this uh, chair right here there's going to be another battery so go ahead and get that and then from there you can turn around and there's going to be a battery in the uh, microwave here so go ahead and get that and then if you've killed at least i believe four spiders you can go ahead and open up the uh, oven here and inside the oven, there's going to be like a uh, pan, and that's going to be a new weapon that we can use. So go ahead and pick that up. And then from there, on the uh, bottom right in this little uh, cupboard here, there's going to be a battery. So it's inside this pan, so go ahead and get that. For me, it went flying, so just be careful. The battery should be in that pan there. And then from there, we can head into the uh, laundry room back here. And there's going to be some puffs that we can pick up as soon as you walk into the room to the right. So pick up all four bags of these uh, puffs here, even the uh, little white one there. And then from there, you can look to the uh, right side of the dryer, and there's going to be a battery there, so go ahead and pick that up. And then from there, if you've completed enough of the objectives, you can open up the uh, dryer. 
and there's gonna be a present in here. So go ahead and pick this present up. And then there's gonna be a battery inside of the uh, washer here. So go ahead and pick that up. And then from there, if you want to get the achievement for breaking all of the uh, dishes, the last dish that you're probably missing is this one here outside of the window. So break that dish and then break all of the other dishes in the kitchen for an achievement. And then from there, we can head out to the uh, garage here and open up this trash can. And inside the trash can is going to be an upgrade. So pick that up and then we can head over here to the uh, workbench. And inside this little uh, toolbox, there's going to be two batteries. So go ahead and pick those up. And then we just have one more thing to do, so head over here, and if you've completed enough of the objectives, you can unlock this uh, little locker here, and there's going to be some Molotovs inside, so go ahead and pick those up, and I believe that's it for this level. Alright, so now we're on the major inconvenience level, and starting off here to the left, there's going to be a trash can with a battery inside, go ahead and pick that up. And then from there, you can turn around towards the uh, register area and inside this uh, back right locker, there's going to be a battery and I've gone ahead and uh, killed the uh, spiders and whatnot and unlocked the doors. So I'm going to head over here to this uh, little mini fridge or whatever you want to call this. And back here, there's going to be an energy drink. So go ahead and open this up if you've killed enough spiders and pick this up. And basically, this uh, drink will slow down time for you. If uh, you ever need to do one of the Arcano Gauntlet challenges, you can use that energy drink to make things easier. <clears throat> and then from there, we're going to head out to the uh, outside here. And we're going to take a right towards these uh, dumpsters. And inside of this uh, left side dumpster here, there's going to be a battery in here. So go ahead and pick this up. And hopefully, uh, if you explode that exploding barrel right there, this battery is going to go flying. So... Hopefully you were able to find it before it went flying. And then from there, we can uh, go ahead and go to the right side of this truck. And right there on the ground is going to be a battery next to that tire. And then from there, we can turn around. And uh, on the left side behind this uh, yellow container, there's going to be another battery right here. So go ahead and pick that up. And then you can head around towards the uh, front of this yellow container here. And if you have enough spider kills, you can go ahead and open up the uh, door here. So go ahead and open that up. And inside here is going to be some more uh, cheese puff flavors. So go ahead and pick these up. And if you feed these to spiders, it'll turn them into exploding spiders. So keep that in mind if you need some exploding spider kills. And then from there, we can head into the uh, red container just to the right of it here. And I've gone ahead and already opened it up. And uh, so you can head, head in here. And there's going to be a suppressed pistol on the ground right here. And some ammo. So go ahead and pick that up. And then inside the uh, tent, just next to it, there's going to be another battery inside here. So go ahead and get that battery. And then from there, we can head back through the uh, container and into the uh, left one all the way over here. <clears throat> and once we get to the other side here, we can take a left and there's going to be two porta potties. And behind the uh, left side porta potty, there's going to be a battery back here. Go ahead and get that. And then we can go ahead and open up the uh, right side porta potty if you've completed enough of the objectives. And there's going to be an upgrade in here, so go ahead and get that. And then from there, we can turn around and head down towards the uh, little storm drain on the left side of this uh, little gas station roof here. Right about here. And there's going to be a little battery in here, so go ahead and pick that up. And then from there, we can continue down this uh, path towards the uh, barricade right here. And there's going to be a little wheelchair. And on this uh, wheelchair here, there's going to be a battery, so go ahead and get that. And then on the uh, left side of this uh, little trash truck or dump truck, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> there's going to be a, another storm drain here. And inside this storm drain is going to be an upgrade. So pick that up. And then from there, we can head towards the uh, gas station again. And on the uh, left side, there's going to be another car right about there. And beside that car is going to be some uh, gasoline. So go ahead and pick that up. And that should be it for this level, but if you want to get another missable achievement, you can go ahead and destroy the uh, two gas pumps, and that's going to blow up the uh, gas station, and that should get you an achievement, but that's it for this level. Alright, so now we're on the Garden of Evil level, and starting off to the right here, right behind this weird rock statue, there's going to be the uh, first battery on the crown, so go ahead and pick that up. And then we can head through this arch, and we're going to take a left, and behind this weird little tiki torch statue, there's going to be two batteries right here on the ground. So pick those up. 
And then as usual, I've gone ahead and unlocked all of the uh, doors and whatnot. So I'm going to head through this uh, first door right here. And there's going to be a trimmer or a weed eater, whatever you want to call it. Go ahead and pick that up and then follow the uh, path here. And we're going to take a left. And behind this uh, weird little rock statue is going to be another battery. So pick that up and then continue down the uh, path. And behind this uh, pink tree on the back right here in the little corner, there's going to be another battery on the ground behind it. So pick that up. And then again, we're going to follow down the uh, path. And then once we get to this uh, little alley here, whatever you want to call it, there's going to be another one behind this weird rock statue on the grass. So pick that one up. And then we're going to head through the uh, door behind us right here. And we're going to take a left. And the uh, upgrade is going to be in the corner to the left. So go ahead and pick that one up. And then from there, we're going to head towards this uh, little weird uh, building here. And on the other side, uh, next to this big rock on the uh, left side, right back here, there's going to be a battery. So pick that up. And then from there, we're going to head up towards the uh, building. And if you've completed enough of the objectives, you can unlock this uh, door here. And inside, there's going to be a present and some uh, ninja stars. So go ahead and pick those up. And then we can head around to the uh, back side of this uh, little building here. And on the uh, railing right here is going to be a battery. So go ahead and pick that up. And then if you guys want to get a missable achievement, you can uh, destroy the entire hedge maze. And you can use the uh, trimmer for that. Or you can use fire and whatnot. Just burn the maze and you'll get an achievement. So starting off on the uh, next level here, Barnstormer. You can turn to the left and over here by the uh, veggies and the fruit behind these little uh, flower piles or bags, sacks, whatever. There's going to be a little battery on the ground you can pick up there. And then towards this uh, red barn, there's going to be a little chest that you can open up and inside is going to be an upgrade. So go ahead and pick that up. And then from there, continue down this uh, little path here. And under this table with all of the uh, pots is going to be the next battery right here so go ahead and move the pot out of the way and pick up that battery and then from there turn to your left and over here by this uh, greenhouse in this little uh, basket here there's going to be a, another battery so pick that up and then uh, turn to your left and you're going to see two hay bales or three rather and in between the uh, hay bales here is going to be the next battery on the ground so pick that up and then from there, we can uh, head into the uh, greenhouse. Again, I went ahead and killed all of the enemies and unlocked the doors. But on the back left of the uh, greenhouse on the ground right here is going to be the next battery. So pick that up. And then from there, we can head into the garage to the uh, left side here with the uh, tractor. And in here on the uh, second little shelf here of this desk or workbench, there's going to be a battery. So go ahead and pick that up. And then from there, there's going to be some... Uh, flashbangs on the corner of the uh, workshop there so pick that up and then we can head over here and there's going to be some more uh, hay bales and in between these uh, hay bales is going to be a another battery so go ahead and uh, pick that up and uh, after that there's going to be a balloon on this uh, little cement block right here i accidentally picked it up but uh there's going to be a balloon connected to that uh, cement block right there and you can actually get an achievement here for uh, crushing a spider with that little anvil right there. I'm not going to show it, but it's uh, pretty easy. So from there, once you get that balloon, there's going to be a little case here that you can open up if you've done at least three objectives. So you can move these uh, hay, hay bales out of the way and open up this uh, chest. And there's going to be an assault rifle in here. So go ahead and pick that up. And then from there, we can interact with the uh, two porta potties here. And on the uh, left side, open this one up. And there's going to be some Molotovs in here. And behind the little toilet seat on the left side, there's going to be a battery. So pick that one up. And then from there, we can go into the uh, right side one here. And there's going to be some more cheese puffs. So uh, go ahead and pick these cheese puffs up here. And then from there, we can finally head into the uh, main barn right here. And on the uh, back right behind the hay bales. Right in here, there's going to be a battery hidden behind them. So go ahead and pick that last battery up right there. And then from there, we can turn around and behind us inside of the, uh, the locker right here, there's going to be an upgrade. So go ahead and pick that up. And that should be it for this level. All right, so now we're on the paper trail level here. And starting off on the uh, left side of this little reception desk here, there's going to be a battery on the top left drawer right there. So go ahead and get that. And then over on the uh, back right in the uh, little waiting area, on this uh, little table here, there's going to be another battery, so go ahead and get that. And then from there, we can head into the uh, little uh, 
office area and turn to the right and behind this little stack of papers on this shelf it's going to be another battery so get that and then from there we can head to the uh, back left here and there's going to be like a little corner desk and behind the uh, monitor right here there's going to be another battery on top of the desk so get that and then from there we can head into the uh, back little server room back here and there's going to be a battery on the shelf to the right side above the desk right in here next to the uh, little flower pots and the picture so get that one and then from there we can head into the uh, little kitchen area but uh, before we head to the kitchen we're actually going to go into the uh, men's bathroom right through here and there's actually going to be an upgrade and a battery in the urinal so pick up the battery right there in the uh, urinal and then from there we can uh, pick up this little upgrade on the back right or back left I guess behind the uh, little stall there and then we can head out to the uh, kitchen and there's actually going to be some more uh, cheese puffs right in here so break the glass and I was having trouble getting it it's like the glass uh, glitched out on me but uh, pick up those puffs and if you feed these puffs to a spider that's actually going to make it into a queen spider and if you kill the queen spider and turn its little spiderlings into a queen you'll get an achievement so feed a spider the uh, puffs kill the queen let the babies eat the uh, next puff and that'll actually get you an achievement for some reason the spiders weren't wanting to uh, eat the puff so i just said screw it and i went on to the uh, next battery so over here in the uh, microwave on the back left you can pick up this battery right here and then under the little sink right here there's going to be a uh, fire extinguisher so go ahead and pick that up and then now we can head back to the uh, little uh, meeting room or whatever you want to call it back in here so head back in here and uh open up this door and in here there's going to be a battery on the uh, desk right here next to the laptop and then under the desk right by this uh, red chair there's going to be a present so go ahead and pick up that present and then from there you can open up this uh, orange container and there's going to be an rpg in here so open this up pick up the uh, rpg and you can actually get an achievement with this rpg as well so pick it up and bring it into this little uh cubicle area and you can shoot this uh, printing machine and you're going to get an achievement and that's it for this level. Alright so starting off on the contingency omega level you can actually get a missable achievement for picking up this golf ball here and dropping it into the goal so go ahead and do that and then from there we can head over to the uh, desk here and on the left side in the top left drawer there's going to be a battery so go ahead and get that and then from there on the uh, bottom left drawer there's going to be a flare gun so get that and then from there we can head into this little uh, bathroom here and inside this trash can there's going to be a battery so go ahead and get that and then from there we can uh, continue along here and head in through here and again i've already unlocked all of the uh, doors so right beside this uh, little mini fridge here there's going to be a battery so go ahead and get that and then from there we can head through here and right behind this little uh, control center here there's going to be a battery on the ground right there. So go ahead and pick that up. And then from here, we can head to the uh, little kitchen area right through here. And inside here, there's going to be a battery behind the uh, table or under the table, rather. Sorry. Right here on the left side, go ahead and pick that battery up on the ground. And then from there, we can head into the uh, little armory area right through here. And you'll have to use this key to unlock it. So I'm going to unlock that right now. And inside here, there's going to be three batteries on the uh, right side of the little table right here. So go ahead and pick those up. And while you're here, go ahead and pick the uh, flamethrower up right here. And then from there, we can head out. Feel free to uh, pick all that stuff up if you want. But I'm going to show you the uh, collectible location. So head back through here. And as soon as you walk into this room to the right side behind this weird little tablet monitor, there's going to be a battery right here. So go ahead and pick that up. And that's actually it for this level. All right, so now we're on the consequences level, and if you didn't complete all of the uh, boombox arcano gauntlet challenges, some of these doors are going to be locked. So starting off at the uh, top of the stairs in this little nightstand here on the bottom drawer, there's going to be a battery. And then from there, you can head back behind this little barricade, and right next to the uh, railing to the stairs is going to be another battery. And then right here, this door might be locked for you if you didn't complete enough of the arcano gauntlet challenges. And if that's the case, you can just chapter select and uh, go back to one of the uh, levels and just start up the Arcano Gauntlet Challenge and finish it. And then you can come back. So in here on the desk, there's going to be a little present that you can pick up. 
And from there, you can turn to your right. And on this little workbench here, there's going to be two batteries and an upgrade to pick up. So go ahead and get those. And then from there, we can jump down the uh, staircase here and head outside. So head through here, open up this uh, door here, and we can turn to the left. And you're going to see this little office here that's uh, barricaded. So go ahead and uh, clear this uh, debris here and open this door. And again, this is another one of those Arcano Gauntlet Challenge doors. If you didn't complete enough, the door is going to be locked. So head in here, take a left, and you're going to see uh, two batteries and an upgrade. So go ahead and uh, pick these up here. And turn to your right, you're going to see a present. So that's four in total right there. And then turn to the right, and over here should be your last little uh, equipment slash weapon, whatever you want to call it. Pick that up. And then from there, we're going to head to the uh, little uh, drain here on the left side. So turn to the left, out the door, you're going to see a drain here. Pick up this uh, little present down there. And that's actually tiny mode, so you can do tiny mode now. And then from there, we're going to turn to the left here, and you're going to see this uh, speaker system right here next to the button is going to be a battery. And then back here behind this little uh, van, there's going to be another battery on the ground right there. And then under the van, there's going to be an upgrade right here. And then to the left of that, there's going to be another battery. And that's it. That's all of the uh, collectibles. But there's still one more missable achievement you can get real quick for destroying the kill it with fire sign. So go ahead and shoot it with an RPG or whatever you want. And you should get an achievement for that. But that's basically it, guys. That was the uh, collectible guide for Kill It With Fire. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video if it was helpful. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching.